Hey guys. Hey guys. Sorry we didn't vlog all day, but we're out here. <laughs> We biked right two hours to another beach town, lay down the beach for a few hours. 18 mile bike ride. It was 18 miles. We're not looking forward to the way back, but it's terrible. It was really bad. We laid out for two hours and we ate a little food, some oysters at an oyster bar. And now we have ice cream. The ice cream is delicious. Mmm. Well, ice cream are you eating, John? Mmm. <laughs> Got a little key lime pie in here with a little uh, salted caramel pretzel. Mmm. The key lime pie is like very refreshing. I haven't mm -hmm. tried the salted caramel part yet though. Is it good? Come on in. I'm gonna try. Oh my god. A little salted caramel. Mmm. Oh my god. That ice cream is so good. Mmm. It's really hard to vlog because it's really loud, so I don't know if you can hear us. John finished his ice cream. Oh, John's not done yet. Oh god. John did not finish his ice cream yet. I thought he finished. So I got my dessert that I wanted. A donut sundae. There's a cinnamon donut on the bottom. Chocolate vanilla twist. And then caramel and peanut butter on top. It's That's so good. good. We've had this already. Yeah. It's so good. I'm going to eat this now. Beach. Might take a little nap. <laughs> Got a two hour bike ride home coming up. <laughs> All right, so ate lunch, ate a lot of ice cream, and now we're at the beach again and we're going to chill for a little bit. The ground is really hot. Sand. So, John and I went to a less secluded area of the beach. More secluded. Oh, wait. Less busy. <laughs> More secluded. So there's less people. So that's good. Social distance people. And yeah, the sand is amazing. I'll show you. Stick to your feet. It's literally like flower. The reason is because it's 99% quartz, according to Google. <laughs> like, look at how nice the sand is. It's literally like, it doesn't stick to your feet. It feels like powder. So nice. This is like one of the nicest beaches we've been on. It's so nice. So John and I are just gonna chill on the beach. Woohoo, it's a nice day out. It's a little cloudy, so that's good because it's exactly. extremely hot. So the clouds feel so nice for some shade. <laughs> Tired legs on us. Check out Joanne's helmet. Yep. Safety first. Safety first, kids. Don't worry about me. I got a hard head. Safety first, kids. It's Joanne in action. Oh, snap. What do you want to say to your fans, Joanne? Wear a helmet. Wear a helmet. If you can. I'm wearing a helmet today because we were going for a long bike ride and I wanted to be safe. But if I'm going for like a short distance, I usually don't wear a helmet. You should wear a helmet all the time. I'm being careful. Not today, you know. Get out there, get active, eat some ice cream. Yeah, nice. Stay hydrated when it's really hot out because you're gonna need some hydration. Hey guys, good morning. Well, actually that's a lie. Good afternoon. It's a lot later in the day. So it's Friday now. I didn't show what we did last night, but we just got back home from our long 40 mile bike ride and showered and then just chilled for the rest of the night. And then today, John and I woke up, had a little breakfast smoothie and we just played tennis and we are so tired, like sweating. We are dripping in sweat, dripping. Another loss for John. Yes, John lost, but he played very well. So now we're going to go grocery shopping and I don't think I've shown you our setup 
of how we go grocery shopping but this is how we do it. John and I bike to the grocery store and we have a wagon. John is always the one cycling the wagon and we'll show you right now. Here she is. Look at that John setup. John is the pack mule that carries it along on this bicycle. He does. So here are two bikes and we bought this wagon from Amazon for like $100 and we love it. It's amazing, right? Oh yeah. We use it all the time to go grocery shopping. It packs up to 80 pounds worth of stuff. This thing's awesome. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to go grocery shopping and we'll talk to you guys later. Bye. All right, guys. So Mmm, that's really good. That's some pulled pork John just made for our dinner tonight. We're gonna have pulled pork tacos. So we just got back from our grocery shopping. So like I mentioned, we bike there and we have a wagon and we have a whole setup. And it was a very eventful trip, actually. Too eventful. Too eventful. So we were biking to the grocery store. John's back wheel was not really connected to the bike anymore. We lost a tiny little screw apparently. We noticed, I guess halfway into our bike ride. Joanne noticed as it happened, but did not think it was relevant information. <laughs> well, so I saw- the bike fell off. I saw the little ball Didn't thing. I saw the ball thing on the ground, but I just thought it was like a random piece of I don't know. I didn't think it belonged to our bike. I just saw it on the ground. I'm like, oh, okay. Just some random trash on the ground, you know? Then when John noticed five minutes later that the back of his bike wasn't connected, then I realized I saw it on the ground and it fell off. <laughs> Thankfully, we found it on the way back. I was extremely nervous because I thought that his bike would just fall apart. Like the wheel would just like start rolling away. The back wheel would start rolling away along with the wagon. And I was like freaking out that that would happen and John would get her and our groceries would be lost too. So that's not good. <laughs> but we found this, that's good. Yes. Now the back wheel is connected. What else happened? Oh, so we were biking on the sidewalk and typically that's frowned upon, but it was a very wide sidewalk and we always see people biking on the sidewalk because there's not really pedestrians on it. No one's really walking on the sidewalk. So it's pretty acceptable. So we're biking <laughs> and this woman, someone, is like pulling out of their of like a parking lot. They didn't see us, and John was in front, and basically almost hit John, but he's hit okay. John. Well, actually, John did get hit because he was about to go in front of her, but he knew got that. His wrapped up wrists. No. From when that car hit me. He's lying. Yeah, that's true. But your wrist totally does, fine. does hurt a little bit. Wrist does hurt a little bit. Had some contact. Do you want to explain what happened? Just as Joanne said, we're biking with our bikes on the bike path. <laughs> uh, and yeah, that car, you know, turned right. I went straight. But you slowed down. Yeah, I saw it happen and I tried to, you know, pull up on the brakes, tell them, hey, I'm here, don't come. But they just kept coming. So then they hit me in the arm, you know, I bashed on the little she did. window a little. Yeah, she didn't see us coming. I think Joanne gave me a bump from behind actually. And I did, and I was trying to- <laughs> I thought so. I was like braking, but like I didn't brake fast enough, and then I bumped into John, and he, John bumped into the car, and it was just a whole thing. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh god. But we, and more importantly, the groceries, made it home. But we made it home, thank god. John was sweating. I did not think he was gonna make it home. It was just so hot out, and I feel bad for John, but very appreciative because he's biking and carrying all these groceries in the wagon. Who knew a 26 pack water bottle so pack say, yeah. is 26 pounds? Our or, weight limit's only 80 pounds, but it turns out the water alone is 26. Or like 27 or something yeah. like that. And then we got at least 15, 20 pounds of meat. And that brings us almost all the way there. Yeah, with all our other stuff, it was really heavy. So I felt really bad. When we came back from the grocery store, we took a dip in the pool and that was really nice. Felt really refreshed. We just showered and now we're making dinner. Well, dinner's ready. Well, oh, dinner is ready apparently. So yeah, we're gonna get that set up and I'm trying to make these, I'm trying to make mint white wine citrus sangria. Does spritzer. that sound good? I'm trying to make some type of like spritzer. It sounds really nice right now. So I'm gonna make these cocktails. Got lots of ice. And we're gonna set up our dinner table and we're going to watch Hamilton. Hey, oh my God. Oh. <laughs> We're big Hammy fans. We love Hamilton. I am new to the Broadway world. Joanne brought me to my first Broadway play. Kinky uh, Boots. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought it was Spongebob. No. Kinky Boots. Pretty actually. It's really good. Pretty good. It was amazing. 
interesting first experience though at Broadway. Yeah, I feel like it was very. It was. It's (laughs) really in there. After that, we saw SpongeBob SquarePants. So good. That was amazing. We also drank two bottles of wine, but it was amazing. Probably why it was so amazing. SpongeBob SquarePants was really an amazing Broadway. I don't think it's on anymore. Yeah. But then we recently saw Hemi in London. Oh my goodness. And boy, oh boy. Amazing. I'm actually in love with that musical. Yeah. Did you hear the play? That? Whatever it is. It's got Biggie, it's got Eminem, it's got all this rap music in there. It's pretty, pretty wild. John actually noticed while we were watching this in the theater. We saw this in London in the Victoria Palace, right? Yep. In Victoria Palace Theater. Amazing. John noticed in one of the scenes where they're having a rap battle. The eight mile rap battle. That it's two of them. Just like the eight mile rap battle in the movie Eight Mile. And I was like, what? How did you even you didn't believe realize it. that? I didn't, I didn't believe it. it. Then we Googled it and it was true that Lin-Manuel Miranda was alluding to 8 Mile yeah. in that scene. John and I actually like are obsessed with the soundtrack of Hamilton. We love it so much. We listen to it all the time. We watched it in London and it was kind of funny watching it in London because it was it's about, about, New, York and about New York, how we're trying to gain, you know, independence, independence. from the British them the Britons it's really funny so we came back from London and like quarantine started and we just listened to the Hamilton soundtrack for like a month straight I'm not even kidding we're obsessed it's so good I really really want to watch it again highly highly recommend watching Hamilton on Broadway if you can I do know that Broadway in New York at least is canceled for the remainder of the year which is really sad a lot of people don't have jobs so that's sad but hopefully everyone can get back on their feet (laughs) highly recommend Hamilton again I know the ticket prices are insane like literally $500 for nosebleed seats the farthest seats possible so that's another reason why John and I watched in London it was a bit cheaper so now if you guys don't have the opportunity to watch Broadway you can watch it on Disney Plus and John and I have been waiting for July 3rd for a long time and now we're gonna watch it while we're eating tacos let's do it These are the two cocktail spritzers I'm in the making. I put a little cane sugar, lemon juice, slice up two lemons, a little cilantro because we didn't have mint, and then some white wine. And it tastes really good. It actually tastes pretty bomb. Yeah. It tastes like a boozy uh. lemonade. It tastes really good. Uh. And here is the whole setup. Standard Taco Tuesday. Yes, but on a Friday. It's Friday. <laughs> So we have pulled pork, classic pulled pork, guacamole I made, here's our wine, chips, pineapples, jalapeno, cilantro, and tacos. I'm right in the like sun, I'm glowing. Oh, I'm like glowing. Yeah, it's I golden hour, like baby. Guy in the back. Yeah, it's 8.03, sunset. Golden hour. It's golden hour, baby. Sunset is in 25 minutes. John and I are going to enjoy our drinks and our lovely dinner and watch Hamilton on Disney Plus. We're so excited. I'm like thinking about all the songs that we're gonna be singing. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. See ya. See you guys later. See ya. Bye.